Welcome back to the garage, everybody. This is a power steering pump. It's actually the fourth one I've got in my garage. Don't ask how that happened. And we're gonna install it on my 05 Ford Focus. Let's get at it. This one is remanufactured. It's only $42 plus core. The one in the car is pretty much brand new. I just did an engine swap, filled up my reservoir all the way, and uh, there was still enough air in the hoses and lines and everything that it ran dry. And this ran for about 20 seconds with no fluid in it, and that was enough to kill it. It's a pretty straightforward job. The most complicated thing you gotta do is get a hold of a kit, uh, a pulley pulling kit. You can get this on Amazon or your local auto parts store will either lend it to you or let you buy it and return it when you're done. I think they're only 15, 20 bucks, so it might be worth it just to buy it. And then on these, it's really kind of a pain to get the, the belt off. You actually have to pull this, which we'll do. It's an eight mil right here. And that lets you get at the idler pulley, which is way down in there. That's a 13 mil. I lied, this is actually 10 mil. And it's the only thing holding the coolant on beside the clip. And this back here just pops up. That is your idler pulley down there. It's the farthest one down, the farthest one left. It's a real pain to get into. I've been meaning to buy one of those two foot long tools that you just slot in there. Okay, it's on. Let's see if I can move it enough to pop it off. There we go. And then this pops off. Here's your puller. This pushes in here as these guys grab onto this flange and back it out. And then this just holds everything in place. All right, this is 17 mil on the end. And you just... Now these pumps come in two flavors, uh, even on the 2005s. Mine's got the reservoir over here. A lot of them come with the reservoir attached. So this will be plugged right into the body of the pump. If you got the reservoir over here like me, this has got to come off. I do have a, a drain pan underneath to catch the fluid. Did get my belt out of the way so that didn't get fluid on it. We got our high pressure line right here. I don't actually know how many, how many millimeters it is. Yeah, right here, that's it coming up. I'm just gonna use an adjustable and then we're upside down, so this way should be loose, right? I think that was it. Now we got four eight mil bolts, two on top, two on bottom including this one here, and there's one more across in the far corner. Pop these loose. Now you can get, if you have just the right length of extension, you can get a, a socket on here. I just lost my eight mil socket, so I'm gonna have to use a wrench only on mine. Yeah, make sure you get that eight mil socket. This is uh, definitely tedious. Okay, here we go. And there it is. It's got the same inspection marks and everything. Yeah, I got these on Amazon, $42 plus core. Uh, this thing was probably in the same shop as this about three weeks ago. All right, a couple things gotta come off of this. Yeah, this is very clearly just repainted. And this, our high pressure port is sealed up. And that's it, we're ready to go back in the car. And you do have two locating pins on the back there. That keeps everything lined up.
Okay, then your high pressure line should just go right in. And your low pressure return line. And there it's back in except for the pulley. I'm gonna refill my reservoir now so I don't forget. Now as soon as you start your car, there's going to be some air in the system that's going to get cycled out. So this is going to drop. So you're going to want to check the level pretty quick. This is how we get the pulley back on. This actually screws into threads inside the post. Make sure you use all the threads. You don't want it pulling itself out and wrecking the threads. Okay, this one's a 13 mil. Yeah, and you'll know when it's on all the way. There's a definite stop. And then just unscrew from the shaft again. Now there's a little bit of play, that's normal. Like I said, this is the fourth pump I've had in the last couple of months, and they're all like that. Okay, let's get the belt on. Now if your belt does fall down and you forget how it goes, you can look up a schematic online. I did an AC delete on this, so I have a, an unusual routing. I actually had to put in a second idler pulley in there. There we go. Then this just pops, snaps back on that clip there. Like that. We got this. All right, and we are just above full. We're gonna run the car a minute with the cap off. That way the fluid can run in to replace any air bubbles that we got. All right, it's running good. Not making any funny sounds. I did add another four or five ounces of fluid. I don't see any leaks, so I think we're good. Like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and run it for a bit, pump off the reservoir, do, refill it, do that two or three times, and that way just about 90, 95% of the fluid will be good. Almost as good as flushing the system. And like I said, it was only 42 bucks on Amazon. Should take you about an hour, probably less. Save maybe $200 at the shop. So if you're thinking about doing it yourself, go for it.